I'm talking about savoring it when someone tells you no, it can't be done because you know deep down you now have an opportunity to do the impossible. Your colleagues at this hospital have done those things that many thought could not be done. I saw it with my own eyes back in October of 2016. Two adorable little boys, Jaden and Anias. Jaden rambunctious, Anias contemplative. Jaden dominant, Anias more willing to go with the flow. Perfectly normal, as their father Christian told me, except that they were conjoined at the head. Craniopagus twins, Jaden and Anias squared about, shared about two square centimeters of brain tissue, including parts of the sagittal sinus. That's a major blood vessel that carries blood away from the brain. Occurs in less than a million births and nearly half of craniopagus twins are stillborn. Fully 80 to 90% of them will die by medical complications by the age of two if they are not separated. It's probably one of the most challenging human malformations known in medicine raising all sorts of religious, moral, ethical, and legal issues, not to mention being one of the most daunting challenges for a medical team. Nurses, radiologists, anesthesiologists, and surgeons. And yet Jaden and Nias, who had only really known the world from lying on their back, and their parents, Nicole and Christian, they asked the doctors here to do the impossible to do something that scared them, to take their boys, their most precious commodities, to the brink of death and return them the same, but separated. And even as a neurosurgeon myself, as Dr. Safir mentioned, I mean, this was one of the most extraordinary operations I've ever seen. From the very start, every step perfectly choreographed and rehearsed, the beds in perfect position, the precise calculations of medications given to one child with the knowledge that it would also transmit to the other child, the rotation of the heads, the staging of the operation, the meticulous dissection of the brain tissue and blood vessels, the anticipation of how blood flow would change in the demand of the newly independent brain, and then reconstructing the skulls with just the right amount and thickness of bone. Nothing left to chance. 27 hours of pure focus. For many, it would be impossible, but not here, not at this place, not with your colleagues, some of whom are here today. Um, Oren Tepper, are you here? Dr. Oren Tepper? Please stand, Oren Tepper.